All right, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so this is the message, and it's real simple, okay? Spirit is speaking to me about gratitude, about the power of gratitude. If you will simply start being grateful for what you have, Spirit, the universe, will bring more to your door. So, let's start thanking spirit for what we have even if it's not much look at where you were at last year at this time and compare it to where you are today and see how far you've come and if you haven't come very far start to to thank god for the smallest things in your life and i know sometimes it's hard to even find the smallest thing in some circumstances it's hard so when you get in those hard places like that, you might have to start thanking him for the sunshine, for the fresh air, that you're still living. Why am I still alive? I should be dead. The smallest things. That you don't have terminal cancer. That you have your health, that you have your right mind. That you're getting help so you can have your right mind. The song that came through, and I don't know who y'all are that are being attracted to this channel, but I love your energy, and you have this very strong Christian vibe for some reason, and that's okay. I love that. I, I'm all about that. Hey, 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 hey. You're not going to hear me complain. Anyway, the song that came through was The Goodness of God. You just have to Google it. A lot of people have sang that song. It's like a... It's like a, a praise and worship song. All my life you have been faithful, and I will praise you for the goodness of God. All right, so let's see what Sweet Tea for the Soul has to say. Is that right, Spirit? Is that right? Is that right? Is that right? She said, go ahead, sweetheart. <laughs> I love you, Spirit. I do. I love you. Oh, wow. Interesting reading spirit. The Last Supper. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept. And none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. And y'all have heard me talk about the son of perdition and being Judas Iscariot, the one who was chosen. Did you hear that? So that the scripture might be fulfilled. And we've talked about that before. And I've told you my spin on it. It's not gospel. This came from John 17, 12, by the way. It's not gospel. It's my interpretation of the gospel. But I believe in my heart that Judas was chosen. Not because he was the evil disciple but because he would have suffered the most for being faithful and following Jesus he would have suffered the most and so Jesus took him out of this world so he would not suffer any longer okay let's see what else it says but you have to decide for yourself why he was chosen but it says he was chosen <laughs> so some of us our purpose is not as beautiful as some of the, of the others. So we have to not keep our eyes on other people. We have to look right down our straight, our path. But keep your eyes on our path, you know. Don't look to your right or to your left because what God's doing over there does not concern me. Jesus knew full well that Judas was going to betray him, yet he knelt down and humbly washed Judas's feet as he did with the other disciples. Imagine that Jesus washed the feet of the man who sold his life for 30 pieces of silver. If you were Judas, what would be going on in your head at that moment? Think of it. The man you plan to betray, the Son of God, the Messiah, humbles himself to the role of the lowliest servant and washes your feet. Would this act of love have given Judas pause? Or did this confirm in his mind that Jesus was not the sort of king Judas hoped he was? Faith check. 
Although Judas took the bread and the wine of communion with Jesus and the other disciples, he was already involved in an unholy communion with the devil. Judas was never again would never again sup with the Lord or experience the light of his tender love. I don't believe that. Both men were about to die, one for salvation of the world and the other to shame, dishonor, and eternal damnation. I don't believe that either. Jesus washed the earth from Judas's feet, but Judas would not allow the Savior of all mankind to wash his heart. I don't believe that either. I think this person is very narrow-minded, and I think that a lot of people that have religion are narrow-minded and I don't mean any offense to the person who wrote this book it may not be that they're narrow-minded it might just be that they just don't know because I, I attended a theology uh, a school of theology and I have a, a degree from a, from a school that taught me theology I, I took philosophy classes at a Christian university um, and so I have a little bit, not, not a whole lot, mind you, just a little bit more knowledge about it than some. But I will say this. Judas regretted what he did, and he tried to give the money back. See, she's not mentioning that here, but if you read the story in Scripture, he did try to give the money back, and they said, no, it's too late. You've already, the damage is done. And... There was nothing he could do. But when let's get back to the foot washing. <laughs> because first of all, Jesus was saying, I'm going to be your king. And no Jewish person of any statue or, or status in the world would have ever allowed that. You did not wash anybody's feet. The servants washed feet. The kings, the noblemen, and even the common Jewish people did not do that. The servants did. They weren't even Jewish, the people who washed the feet. They were other people. And so for Jesus to actually kneel down and wash feet is such a profound thing for them. Like they were looking at this and going, what the heck? You can't be our king. You know, that's unclean what you're doing. Not knowing that he was going to clean it all up. He was going to make one sacrifice once and for all. Don't fear the enemy that attacks you, but the friend that embraces you. And isn't that the truth? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so back to our gratitude. I think that Spirit wants us right now to embrace gratitude and I am really feeling the effects of the Scorpio full moon and the eclipse that's coming up on May 5th. Miss Mary and I were at the beach last year at this same time and we saw the total eclipse of the Scorpio full moon. It was beautiful. I got beautiful pictures of it. And I'm feeling it so strongly. Are you, are you purging? Are you shedding? Are you getting rid of some... I mean, like, oh, I was bawling my eyes out when I woke up this morning from a nightmare. And I told Miss Mary, I said, it feels like I've got grief coming up from, I don't, and I think that that's part of the problem. Like, when my father died, I was 10, so I was very young. You know, I knew what was happening, but it, it was like it was such a denial. And I knew I had my mom, you know, and that we were gonna to stick together. I grieved heavily, don't get me wrong, I love my daddy and I remember him well to be so young, to lose him. But this, this loss with Wayne has overwhelmed me with grief and I realized today that it's not just losing him, I'm actually grieving, you know, living with him, living with the, uh, the alcoholism, living, with the codependency, oh my God. It's like when I got out of that relationship, I just looked for somebody else to take care of. I had to have somebody to take care of. And so now I have nobody to take care of but me and my children. And that's enough. I mean, come on, I mean, hi. It's overwhelming to feel like, you know, to be my age especially. 
I'm definitely not interested in dating anymore. So I don't know what the hell is going to happen with my life. But I know that for right now, I'm going to just find things to be grateful for. And as we are grateful, we're going to see more and more abundance in our lives. I feel that very strongly. I don't even know if we're going to do a reading. I just really wanted to talk to you guys and process the readings that we've had recently because I don't know if you've realized it or not, but it's like we're being prepared for this eclipse. And this eclipse is going to be the beginning of an eclipse season that lasts for like a year. Distraction. <clears throat> so... How are y'all feeling? Tell me how you're feeling in the comments. Tell me what you're grateful for if you want to. Whatever you want to say, I'm here for you. Trust and believe I am here for you. I am one of you. I'm not above you. I'm one of you. And I'm grateful for the goodness of God. All right, let's, we'll pull a card. We'll pull a card. Let's see what the angels want to say tonight. Angels, you got a message for us? I'm going to look at the angel answers. I've never used these this way. I've always asked questions. Big happy changes in forgiveness. So maybe somebody needs forgiveness. Maybe you need to forgive yourself. Maybe you need to forgive somebody else. Or they need to forgive you. I'm trusting for that miracle. You're ready. Big happy changes. Angel, dear guys, the divine, may I have a message please for this collective who are grateful for your goodness. Thank you for your abundance. Improving health and big, oh, thank you, Spirit. Big happy changes. It's a beautiful collective. All right, message for this collective from the angels, please. May I have a message? Thank you so very much. Uh-oh. Look at yonder. Romance came out, collective. We're about to have some love. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, we try to do a different kind of reading and we still fall out. Oh, ask for help from others. So you're going to have some romance, but you need to ask for help from others. So maybe your spirit guides are going to help you. Or you might have a friend, a trusted friend. Your friend might be going to set you up with somebody new. Let's see if we can find out what's going on here. We've got romance and ask for help from others. How about that? All right, let's use this deck right here and see what the tarot energy is that's at play when it comes to this romance. Uh-oh, I got the Empress out here sideways crossing over judgment. So you're using your judgment, Empress. You're in your you're in your divine feminine energy. Oh, deception and manipulation. You're looking at something and you're like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> I ain't trying to even go there. What is going on here, spirit? How did I get in this deep already? We're starting out with the Empress, Judgment, and the Magician. So we have Earth here, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. We have Gemini and we have Libra. So a lot of air is also here. And we've, we saw that this morning in this morning's reading as well. So let's pull out this twin flame deck right here and find out why we have judgment here. What's this Empress using judgment about? Awaiting results when it comes to this little teeny tiny offer from a friend. Like, is my friend going to call me tonight? Say goodnight to me. Is my friend gonna call me tonight? Is my friend gonna text me tonight? You're having like those questions in your mind. Divine masculine. <laughs> it's actually not just a friend, it's the divine masculine. It's the emperor. <laughs> You're waiting to see if that divine feminine or masculine are gonna call you tonight. She's here, but you can reverse any roles you need to. And you may even be fantasizing about this divine masculine look. <laughs> temptation and fantasy. Whoa. Ooh la la. Ask for help from others. I don't know who the others are, but Spirit's saying ask for help when it comes to this romance. Why is judgment here? You got some kind of ah. You got, you're stuck on an idea. And it's about you're afraid you're going to get hurt. It's like this person's going to hurt me. And I'm trying to see this differently, but I have a good idea that this person might hurt me. So you're thinking that you're going to get hurt here. All right, why is the Empress sideways on my table? Oh. Uh, damn. 
this is complicated. All right, what I have here is the Hierophant. Taurus is in the house. We got the Six of Cups. We got the Ten of Cups. We have the Five of Swords in reverse, and we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So you're fighting fate, baby. You're fighting fate. You have this commitment that you would like to have. They could be a different race from you, darker complexion. This person could have given you a ring. It's like, you're not, you don't have a lot. Why are you not looking at the memories? It's like, you don't want to, you don't want to look at the memories. But this person brings you a lot of fulfillment. It's like, I don't, I know this is my person, but I don't want to look back at the memories. For some reason, I will pull a card on that. Why don't they want to look back at these memories, Spirit? Because you're healing. You're healing and you can't. It's like, I can't. It's just too painful. I have a lot of happiness in my life right now. And I don't want to fight fate anymore. You don't want to. Look, you want something new, baby. Or this could be them. Let's find out. Why is the Five of Swords here with the Wheel of Fortune? It went on the floor. There's your results you're waiting for. You're waiting for some kind of results. And uh, Sagittarius is here. You're restraining yourself while you wait for results. Show me the results that they're going to get, Spirit. Oh, trials and tribulation on the bottom of the deck. Show me the results. Somebody's done me through something. Oh, my God, y'all. Holy cow. You do not even see this coming. You're not using your intuition at all. You're about to celebrate a whole lot of success. The Ten of Pentacles is here. You're not using your intuition. The truth is going to come in suddenly. You're not getting any communication right now. But it's going to come in real sudden. You don't, you don't see it coming. And it's going to be a celebration because of a lot of abundance. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and right now I think you're unhappy because you're in this. It's like you're not using, your, you're not using judgment here. Something's off. Something's wrong. I want to find out how this happened to you. Why are you in this energy like this? You're so confused, baby. Why, are, why is the collective confused like this when it comes to this relationship? I think you've been watching too many YouTube videos and you're getting confused. That's what I think. That's what I feel. There's an Ace of Pentacles here. And somebody is trying... They're surrendering to a new star. It's like, I am going to just do this. I have to let this go so I can begin something new. And I feel you, babe. I feel you. You're going to start something new, maybe with something old. I don't know what you're doing. But let's find out. <laughs> All right. What is it that we don't see here? What's hidden and secretive about this? Oh, karma, bounce, and justice. So that wheel is about karma balance. That wheel is going to bring, it's moving slow. So it's like delayed a little bit. But this, this wheel is going to bring things back into balance. And you're fighting it. You're like, I don't want this. What's balance and justice going to look like, spirit? A decision. Okay, can we see the decision that's being made? To celebrate gifts in abundance. And this is being hidden from you. This is being kept secret. The moon is here. Cancer. Somebody is letting go of their fears. Their limitations. They're shedding this. They're actually not talking to you about it though. Is what it looks like to me. Why is the magician in reverse? Ah, divine masculine's here. Self-love. Messages in their dreams and the divine masculine is in reverse. Why is divine masculine in reverse spirit? Because of expressing truth when it comes to not having any compassion and nurturing. Why are, what's their truth spirit? Something happened in the fall y'all and now they're isolating and thinking about what happened. Alright, what are they thinking here? They're thinking that there's a lot of toxicity in their life. They've been avoiding toxic patterns. They've been keeping someone at a distance. Oh my gosh. They have been avoiding toxic patterns, but they want to be present, abundant, and have gratitude. They're at a distance though, but there's growth happening in this person's life. 
you don't see it, but this person is really doing their work. They are working on really making this. They're working on themselves, and you don't you don't know it. Divine masculine's in reverse. You're all sideways. I don't think either one of you know it. I think you're both doing the work, and you think that this person is bullshitting. How about that? You're having help from others. It's like you have help from others. You're not happy. I don't think either one of you are happy right now because you're not communicating. What should they do about the communication spirit? <laughs> Guess what came out, y'all? I can't even make it up. Your spirit guides are assisting you with the communication. So, so right now this person is very nostalgic. They're going through exactly what you're going through. They are having an emotional probably breakdown if you're like my divine counterpart. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. All right, what else? Let's see what the secret of their heart would say. What's the secret of this person's heart? They have a lot of pride and infatuation. Oh, you really we can't have all that pride, though. That's got to go. The ego and the pride has to go. Somebody's hiding an infatuation that they have with you. Your spirit guides know it, though. <laughs> They're working on this. All right. Show me the secrets of the person's heart that we're watching about. Ooh, the chase. This person is getting ready to chase you. <laughs> what <laughs> say what this person is ready to go like it looks like they're euphoric about this clarify the chase please oh they've been avoiding this for a long time now they've been avoiding chasing for a long time okay what does that mean exactly oh 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 this is confusion remember i said there was confusion somebody has reached their limit with confusion they have they have a resentment and it's like this is causing me to drift away and i don't want to drift i don't want to do this i'm conflicted no boundaries what's the resentment about spirit why do they have a resentment divine masculine baby you done flew out because you want this nourishment that you don't have anymore wherever you're at and whatever you're doing you have nourishment showing up like self-harmony soul growth you want to be comfortable that's what you resent is that you have nourishment why are they resenting nourishment maybe somebody else is oh intimacy somebody's clinging there's going to be upheaval and somebody's not talking about it there's been some intimacy and clinging holding on obsessing watching shock the unexpected and trouble divine masculine is resenting nourishment so like you somebody is around you that you don't really want around you and i think you're resenting this this person is clinging to you they want to be intimate with you and they're causing you to have upheaval i feel like you're around somebody you don't want to be around and you're like, I, I don't even want to talk about, like, I don't even want to talk to this divine feminine because this person is up my ass everywhere I go. Oh. Solitary. You want to be alone and you have not been pretending about this either. Who is this person that's all up divine masculine's ass? There's consequences for something that they hid in the past and they were very arrogant and had a lot of pride. They were being stubborn. Leo's vibe is here strongly. So right now you're dealing with consequences, karma. Remember, it's things are balancing out and there's justice. Like you decided that you wanted to be wherever you're at and now you resent the fact that you're there is what it looks like to me but you're there and that's where you have to be for right now and this could be some it could be a marriage and you're not sorry about something okay let's look at this a little deeper talk to me about this this clinging person to divine masculine who is clinging to divine masculine like this Oh, the player moved on. So this this person moved on. <laughs> the player moved on. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Jesus, help us. <laughs> oh, I'm about to snort. I love you, but I moved on. So I did love you, but I had to move on. I'm a player, so that's what they do, right? They move on. <laughs> All right, Spirit. What is going on with the blind mask? Why is he over here like this resent? <laughs> Tell them, Miss Mary. They don't know nothing, do they? <laughs> Only you came out in reverse. And divine mask, if your cards come out in reverse, it's like, is it only you or is it not only you? So it's like, the reason why this is happening is because it's, I think, not only you, but something was divinely guided. What do you mean, not only you? There's the moved on. It's like in reverse. The player is here with I love you. I can't make it up. And a little bit of gossip. So somebody's even been talking about this late at night. <laughs> For some reason, y'all be up late. Oh, and there's messages you don't want to send to somebody. Okay, so we're going to find out what's going on here because we're going to pull out the gossip cards because I'm like lost. There's a lot of negativity though. Divine masculine, you are in a lot of negativity. You're resenting being there. You don't want to be there. Somebody's chasing you. They're cleaning you. It could be divine feminine, but I don't think so because she's over here feeling like you've been deceiving her. And right here we have romance. This does not look like romance at all. This is not romance. This is not love. But this person is like, I love you. I can't move on. I know I'm a player, but I love you, damn it. And now we've got to look at the gossip. <laughs> Ooh, wee. Gee Louise. Good thing we had our grits for supper tonight, Miss Mary. <laughs> I'm going to need the extra strength. Somebody needs to check their self when it comes to having tantric sex. Ooh, that makes me think about that dream I had last night because I really, after I got to thinking about that thing, it really did feel like somebody came into my dream last night. That wasn't my dream. That was Spirit showing me something about somebody else that I was reading for this morning. That wasn't my life, that was theirs. And I was feeling how how used and how nasty they feel. Like they don't feel good about themselves because they're only in this relationship for the money. And then when they have to lay down with this person, I mean, I felt so uncomfortable having sex with that person. It was like, what the hell am I even doing here? Tantric sex and a, a situation's about to explode and pop off and go up and smoke. Oh, baby. Y'all better be careful with that tantric sex now. Don't be bringing that shit to my door. What's this? What's the tea spirit? Y'all, <laughs> somebody's money hungry. They're in it for the money. You're in it to win it, baby. And there's evidence of cheating. Police involved. <laughs> Damn it, boy. <laughs> this is getting worse by the minute. <laughs> the popo's involved, Miss Mary. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why are they doing this? What is going on? The police came out because they were in trouble with the law. They, I guess, needed money to pay their legal fines. What's going to be the outcome for this person? Oh, my God. You're going to have a hater. Or be one, like, hater, that's the outcome, is hater. Somebody's about to get kicked to the curb because somebody's too busy for this shit. So, now you hate either yourself or this person, but you went here because you needed money for, for your legal stuff. Your police, or maybe you are police. Tantric sex keeps coming out. I don't know who you kinky people are, but... <laughs> <coughs> All right, then. Why do they hate this person? Spirit, why is the hater here? Because somebody is fulfilling a fantasy. Huh. Clarify fulfilling a fantasy. Oh, I want good strong answers on me, please. Diamond girl tried to come out because somebody's getting played and they're tired of it. They're over it. They're over it and tired of getting played, manipulation lies, controlling and pulling the strings. Meanwhile, while you're over here getting played and getting manipulated, somebody is fulfilling a fantasy. So, you're going to get a divorce and you're busy. And game over, I'm kicking you to the curb in reverse. 
So definitely you're in a, a karmic situation, Divine Masculine, and you know, somebody's busy getting a divorce. <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear that, I guess. What's, what's being said about the Divine Feminine? That they're having family time. The Divine Feminine is spending time with their family. Good for you, Divine Feminine. Good for you. Somebody got caught up. It got caught up in cheating. Sucks. They got caught up in cheating. They wanted to have this sex. So it's terribly bad. Alright. Well, what would your higher self say to you about all this drama that you're involved in? What would our higher self say to us? Freedom. <laughs> Get back to the basics and you need your freedom. Because if you got police involved, you're very close to getting locked up or have been. Look, and it's like, this is divine timing um, taking over this situation now. It's like, <laughs> I'm here and I have to stay here because this is where I decided I wanted to be. All right, anything else the higher self might say to us? I mean, it was real quick that it came out freedom. Your higher self is saying, freedom, freedom, the police are involved, get the hell out of Dodge. And you got haters and you're trying to keep your freedom, that's not good because people will rat you out and say all kinds of nasty lies about you. Have some patience, you gotta be patient now, you're in this situation, you could be in a legal situation. And you need to get a perspective here. Remember the hangman, you need to get some perspective time to see this from a different perspective you need to manifest your way out of this spirit says remember the gratitude list you have dreams I got dreams to remember you remember that song gravity that's what's coming to mind right now for some reason expect the unexpected manifest your way out of this spirit says you got dreams divine masculine you got to get busy manifesting your way out of this start a gratitude list baby that's all you got to do the spirit's gonna have the rest I promise you that okay let's see what kind of guidance we can get for you all i'm gonna keep this real short and sweet wherever you go you take yourself so make sure you bring the most healed version you know the truth, and that's all that matters. So somebody's calling you a liar. Anything else? Divine timing is in charge, not you. And we see that. There's so much to discover about yourself. So while you're stuck here with this hater, kick up your heels and have some fun, Spirit says. <laughs> Just not so much that you get in trouble with the law, baby. We don't want to see you go to jail or prison. All right, any, any messages out of here for this situation? Different pages. You're on different pages with this person. Don't You don't share the same vision, and you're trying to get healing. Wait, Spirit says. Why do they need to wait? Because you're getting stable. You're getting balanced back in your life and getting stability. All right, any other messages for this person? Your twin flame, you need to release the twin flame or release in twin flame. Let me see if I can clarify. What is release here about? Because somebody's unavailable, yeah. Right now you have to let this person go and let them get on with their life. They'll, they may meet and marry someone else. You know, this was the decision that you made. Somebody's in denial about interference and being vulnerable. What does that mean? There's a lot of passion. What does that mean, passion? What are we talking about? Oh, an addiction. There's an addiction. Somebody's longing for this past life love. Oh, and their boundaries are here. So right now you're in a current situation with somebody. You have an addiction, but you're longing for this twin flame you're having to let go of because you're unavailable. Not because they are, because you are. Because you decided to get into a karmic situation. There's an obsession here. Don't let obsession and vulnerable. Let me tell you something. If this person won't talk to you because of boundaries, then there's nothing you can do right now. But if you can maintain communication with this person, and I don't see why you couldn't still be friends with them at least. What about that spirit? What would you say about that? Oh, hold on the whole deck's trying to come out what would you say about maintaining a relationship of friendship oh oh my god 
Okay. This is what Spirit says. Leap of faith came out. Use your intuition. When it comes to somebody being vulnerable, they're, they're trying to get to the place where they can be open. So if be patient until this person opens up to you. So if, if right now they're backed off and they're a little, you know, standoffish, just let them have their space, okay, baby? Don't press for more if they're not ready. You might need time apart because of this interference. They might be mad at you because you forgiveness is here, yeah. This person might be very angry with you about what's happened here. And I mean, I can't say that I blame them, especially if y'all had already kind of like been seeing each other or something. All right, what do the angels say here, spirit? That's a lot. I'm not taking half the deck now, to be sure. They would say that right now you have to get things where you need them. Like they're working on getting people, places, and things exactly where you need them so that you can have, you know, your highest and greatest good. You need communication. Spirit says, yes, you do need communication. So you need to pick up the phone or whatever. You're going to need your freedom here. Freedom came out twice and knowledge. You need knowledge about something. You need to get some communication. Um, somebody's pa passionate. They have a lot of gratitude, though, and they're going to show grace here. There's a divine plan. Bless. Bless. Let's see what this divine feminine would say to you. What would the divine feminine say? I still love you. I'm reminded of you constantly. We will be together again. I don't know how I feel anymore. But they do love you. I mean, I think that what they're saying by I don't know how I feel anymore is about this whole shit show right here. Regardless of what is going on here, the most important thing to remember is that this person says I still love you, okay? I love you, and I'm always reminded of you. Something always, every time I see things or think about things, everything reminds this person of you. And they know that you'll be together again. They know you will. But right now, they don't know how to feel anymore because they're hurt. This whole situation has blown up in your face. And they want to also know, would you reject them? So maybe you act like you don't really want any part of this. Somebody wants to know if you'd reject them. I don't see any rejection here, but I could be wrong. Let me see if there's any rejection here. Ask for help from others. Romance. So you need help with this. All right. Is there any... Would they reject them, Spirit? Spirit said, don't stop. A year from now. So maybe in a year, you know, things will be different for the two of you. A year from now. That sounds like forever, doesn't it? And remember I was telling you guys earlier, like... If this cycle closed on you, you're probably going to be where you are until next year. And that's okay. All right, let's see what kind of healing you need to do while you're in this place. What healing does this person need, spirit? Whoever I'm talking Oh, a lot of healing is here. How teachable are you? You need to get rid of that pride. Discover your life purpose and be patient. So right now, the only real big thing I see is not being closed-minded. Be teachable. Allow spirit to teach you things. You might play an instrument. You might be trying to learn how to play an instrument or learn a new song on an instrument. And don't sell out. Spirit says do not sell out no matter what you do here. This person wants to be with you and they will be, it looks like, a year from now. But for right now, this is not working out. It's okay, though. It's okay. There's lots of things we can talk about besides this person when we come to this channel. And we can also try to help you navigate the karmic relationship. I mean, I'm open to whatever you need. Teacher and self-made. So somebody here might be a teacher. Self-made. Hallelujah. Maybe you're a teacher and you didn't go to school for it. You just teach people stuff because you're very intelligent. You're going to have angelic help when it comes to being self-made, baby. Talk to this person and give them some encouragement, spirit. What do they need to see about their money? Oh, that flew out. Wow, you're an entertainer. You're going to have angelic help? You 
might play this instrument for pay. You have a gift that's being activated. It has to do with being an entertainer and having angelic help. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but I think you might play an instrument. You're self-made. You're self-made. Maybe you build like, maybe you make instruments. Like my stepfather, he can make any kind of instrument and he's really, really gifted at woodworking and things like that. And he makes guitars and things like that. And you have to be able to engineer. Like it's not as simple as it sounds to make a guitar. <laughs> it takes skill. But you're an entertainer. You do something in the entertainment business and you're gonna have new gifts activated and you're gonna have angelic help as well. Anything else that they need to know. You might be a feminine, just have mask, you know, it's not about gender, it's about what energy you're in, embodying at the moment. And I am right now probably very much in my masculine energy. <clears throat> Cause I'm having to work to get myself out. It's, there's something about taking a risk when it comes to an investment in science. All right, Spirit wants to talk to you about this investment you're making when it comes to science. So maybe you're donating blood or selling drugs. <laughs> you're a student, though. I might be donating blood. Talk to them about this. This is going to lead you. This is the legal situation. You're going to have stability. But something is undecided here. What's, an, what's the outcome of undecided? Come on, Spirit. Give me good, strong answers, please. Only strong answers for this individual. Please, Spirit. Blonde hair is standing out to me very strongly. It has to do with your real estate. What's undecided about your real estate? Okay. And a business. Clar uh, clarify the um, real estate. Undecided. Your money coming to a halt having some growth all right your money had come to a halt in the past but you're about to have growth and get on the right path that is beautiful so when it comes to your real estate and your money coming to a halt something happened you weren't able to earn but you're going to have some growth baby you're going to have you're look you're getting on the right path that's going to lead to your life purpose and we saw that already i think somewhere this is beautiful i mean i'm really excited for you can't wait to see what the next year holds for you. What would your best friend say? I bet your best friend is this person. <laughs> you probably should call them. It said you need to have communication. Surviving is enough. Keep your chin up. Keep your head up. The same thing we had earlier. So you might be the same person. I don't know. I don't know. I think we're going to leave it there. Let's pull a trinket or something. Let's pull a trinket. Let's see what we can get. Here, can I just like get a perfect trinket for this reading, please. Alright, let's see what we got here. We got a marble. We got a pig. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. What is that? Yeah, a pig with, when pigs fly, somebody said when pigs fly, <laughs> a pegasus, a star, you're going to be a star. I have a doe, a deer, a female deer. I have an elephant and I have a horse. So somebody could be from Kentucky here. All right, spirit. Or you just might like horses. It was like a child's horse, honestly. It didn't look like a real horse, but what do I know? I'm not from Kentucky. I have an Eiffel Tower. Drive safe. I need you here with me. So maybe, oh, I got a feather stuck in my hand. You might be finding feathers. I will hold you in my heart until I hold you in heaven. <clears throat> Beautiful. I have William Shakespeare and every fair from fair sometimes declines. Make a wish. No matter where. I have my broken ring and it has turquoise in it. You might need to wear turquoise. I have an anchor. A compass, a lot of references to water and direction. Maybe you're making a move towards water. And an Eiffel Tower, again, you might live in a tower. And maybe this Scorpio moon and this eclipse is going to give you some clarity about some things. And I think that it might. R P Z Z A F H six. T-E-E-B-J-C-6. 
M2. T O S E V Z Y 1. I'm going to go one more time. That's going to be it. If you don't hear your initials, it's not a big deal. S K N P W T K 10. You only take parts of the reading that fit your life. You don't try to make your life fit in reading. Alrighty then. I guess that's going to be around. Let me give you a prayer. Dear God, thank you. Thank you. Did you hear that? Gratitude. Thank you for giving me my family to love and care for. Help me share with them your spirit's warmth and love as you bless them with grace and peace. May we live, may we as one family live with you forever in heaven. Amen. And I, I see Divine Feminine spending time with her family, so maybe that was for her. <clears throat> All right. I hope you guys have a magnificent night. I'm going to go back to doing the shorts starting tomorrow because I will be, you know, mostly in the office next week trying to wrap up some loose ends before I start my new position. And so the shorts will fit in real good with the time frame that I'm going to have. And you guys can show me some love there. All right. Be blessed, y'all. Bye-bye.